to Australia now, where Cardinal George Pell has been sentenced to six years in prison for sexually abusing two choir boys in the 1990s. Cardinal Pell is the Vatican's former finance minister. He's the most senior Catholic official to be convicted in one of these cases. The 77-year-old denies the allegations. CBS News foreign correspondent Seth Doan is with us now from Rome near the Vatican. So, Seth, let's talk about this a little. What's the reaction been like from abuse survivors and from the Vatican? Well, we have not heard anything officially from the Vatican uh, just yet. Today is a holiday celebrating six years since Pope Francis uh, became Pope. So the Vatican has been quiet so far, though we do know that they have launched. They are running their own parallel investigation here from Australia and around the world. We've heard a great deal of frustration really coming from both victims, the families of victims and from groups representing survivors of uh, clerical sex abuse. The lawyer of one of the victims of Pell's victims read a statement that said that this victim could not really take any comfort in this sentence. We also heard uh, from the family, the father of another one of Pell's victims who is since deceased. The father said that they were he was completely disappointed and still considering suing both the Catholic Church and Pell in civil court. And then from SNAP, the group that represents sexual abuse survivors or clerical sex abuse in the U.S., they put out a statement that said that they were disappointed in the comparatively light sentence in this case. Of course, Cardinal Pell was facing up to 50 years behind bars. He got six years behind bars. I was thinking a little bit about what we were hearing in the wake of that landmark uh, sex abuse uh, conference. And, and from Phil Saviano, who is a sex abuse survivor from Boston, he was saying, look, I have given up on the church. I am putting my faith in the civil law enforcement system. And that is uh, what has taken place here, at least uh, some progress on, on a, from civil authorities moving forward, though disappointment from many victims still. So uh, just to drill down a little further, Seth, how does this affect the Vatican's efforts on dealing with systemic sexual abuse uh, in the church. Well, they would point out that there have been several uh, major events here that have taken place just around this uh, clerical sex abuse summit that brought those nearly 200 religious leaders from around the world here uh, to the Vatican. Just before it, on the eve of that, we saw uh, Cardinal McCarrick being defrocked. And now, of course, we have seen Cardinal Pell uh, being convicted. I mentioned earlier that the church is carrying out its own parallel investigation into this. They will have to look into things as to whether Cardinal Pell could remain a cardinal or if he ultimately would be defrocked. So far, the Catholic Church has underlined that the legal process is still ongoing. Cardinal Pell has all along said that he is innocent, has maintained his innocence, and his legal team is filing an appeal. So the Vatican has said, hold on, we'll wait for that legal process to take place. But uh, many people are looking for more action, certainly from the Catholic Church. We heard Pope Francis at the outset of that clerical sex abuse conference say that they wanted a concrete action, not just condemnation. And we have heard a lot of condemnation, more words, but really seen very little that is concrete. We are told to expect a few things coming out of that sex abuse conference, in particular, a change to the laws within Vatican. Vatican City State as it comes as it pertains to clerical sex abuse and, and, and minors. Uh, also a handbook for bishops. I asked Hans Olner, Father Hans Olner, who is one of the organizers of that event, I said, a handbook, doesn't this seem a little elementary? And he said to me, what were people expecting out of a several day conference? It is important to bring the entire church up to speed here and to let corners of the earth where this was not really believed to be the issue that it is understood to be in the West, bring all of the church up to speed and to, to focus on this as an issue. I, I suppose that's a, a point. You know, here in this country, we have been discussing the sex abuse for many, a number of years now in different cities. And so it's, it's sort of surprising that the church has not been discussing it all along and people would be having to be brought up to speed. But that aside, Seth, what about the case with Cardinal Pell? He's going to appeal. There is an appeal. Uh, his, uh, as I mentioned all along, he has maintained his innocence, and the appeal will be, begin to be heard on June 5th. So uh, Cardinal Pell decided to leave the Vatican. He was granted this indefinite leave of absence uh, back in 2017 to go and fight this case. Uh, his legal team has noted that other uh, cases have been dropped that had been brought against him. There was supposed to be an entire second trial, the so-called so swimming pool trial, but that was ultimately dropped by a lack of evidence. So 
Uh, his legal team is underlining uh, that they believe he is still innocent. We'll look, uh, look ahead to this appeal and the question of other civil cases still kind of hangs in the balance. But Anne-Marie, you're exactly right. It is hard to kind of understand this. Certainly, uh, these issues have been faced for decades in the West, certainly in the U.S. The uh, Australian church, Catholic Church, has also uh, launched its own commission and had reports done as well. But unbelievably, there are still parts of the church church, we are told, hearing from bishops around the world, where this is still uh, only now being uh, recognized as the issue that it is. Mm. Seth, very important reporting. Thank you. Appreciate it.